Hey Blinkers! My name is Maria and in today's video we are going to find out how to set up and use automation in the Blink app. Automation is a really powerful feature. It allows your app user set up a sequence of events that start with certain trigger. For example, if a temperature sensor shows above 40 degrees, turn the boiler off or turn on the garden lights on Wednesday at 7 p.m. and turn them back on Thursday at 11 p.m. There can be tons of examples, only your imagination is a limit here. One more cool thing about automation is that they can work between multiple devices, so a trigger fired on one device can start an action on another device. If you are familiar with legacy blink, automation is much more powerful replacement of widgets like timer, bridge and inventor. But enough talking, let's get to the fun part. I will show you how I set up automation for underfloor heating system at my home. Let's get started. So first of all, you will need to have the Blink app installed on your smartphone. Make sure it's a new Blink IoT app, not the legacy one. We will be also working in the Blink web console, so you can access there using blink.cloud. First go ahead and log in into the web console and we will configure automation in the template settings there. Afterwards, it will become available in your mobile app. Once logged into the web console, choose Templates tab, click on New Device, click Edit and choose Data Streams. If you are not familiar with Data Streams yet, we have a full doc explaining how to set them up. There is a link to documentation directly from Blink Console, so you have to choose Live Both Sign, uh, click on Documentation and use search bar to find any data streams related articles. So here we are, set up data streams. If you do have a data stream set up and selected, choose your data stream, go to advanced settings, enable expose to automation button, Choose your automation type and make sure that available in conditions and available in actions box are checked. And then click save. By default data stream is set as an action. It means that the value of this data stream can be changed when something happens. However, you can also set this as a condition and this means that the value of this data stream can trigger certain action. For example, when temperature reaches the value of 23, do something. Then you need to choose the automation type. For example, if you want to switch a relay based on some trigger, you can choose switch as it supports on off states. But if you want to trigger your automation based on value within a certain value, you can choose range. For example, uh, when lights are on, set the brightness to 50%. You can always go to documentation to choose the right option for you. And now click save and apply all changes to template. So the data stream is now ready. Let's set the automation scenario. Now you can go to your mobile app to set up your automation further. First of all, you will need to tap Add Automation to create a new one or you can use plus icon in the right upper corner. Next, you will need to set a condition that will trigger your automation and click Offer Scheduling, which means your automation can be triggered based on specific day of the week and time. Also, there are astronomical timers, which will trigger your automation on sunrise and sunset. Next option is device state trigger. So this one will start your automation scenario uh, when your device goes in a certain state. Let's say the sensor records certain temperature or your device turns on. And last option is the thin. So this one will allow you to set up a set of action which will fire when you tap on the automation card. In my case, I will choose day and time to turn on my underfloor heating system on a schedule. Let's set time. And after setting the condition, we should go to add action. That's the action that will be actually performed when automation is triggered. And now we are choosing the action type. You can see a model with types of action. So we can set device to act certain ways when automation is triggered. You can send push notification on your smartphone. You can send emails to a specific email address. Also, you can add a delay, like let, let's say uh, wait 15 minutes when something happens. And 
I am choosing that device too because I want my floor heater turn on on Wednesday at 7 p.m. I would also like to switch it off at 11 p.m. So for that I would need to add weight action. After weight is added, I am clicking on add action. Blink thinks that I would need to turn my heater off. That's pretty convenient. And my automation is almost ready. Uh, now I will set the cover image and give it a meaningful name so that I can find it easily later when I have lots of them. And yay! My automation is ready to use! Now it's 7 pm and my floor heater is magically turned on as I set it. On my automation card I can see when it was applied last time and when the next time is scheduled. So also you can pause your automation. Let's say I'm on vacation and I want to turn it off. You can edit them anytime and you can make them very complex. But the best part about automation, you don't need to write any code on the device. As always, we made it very easy for you and your customer to automate Internet of Things. So let me know what you think, leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe to Blink channel for more handy tutorials. Happy blinking!